Reimagining Success, episode 205. You're listening to the Reimagining Success podcast, where we help you design a business and a life that allows you freedom from the nine to five. I'm your host, Anna Lundberg, ex-corporate good girl, now a business mentor and coach, author, mum of two, and I'm here to help you create more freedom, flexibility, and fulfillment. Now let's get started with redefining success outside of the nine to five. Hello there, welcome back. I'm your host, Anna Lundberg, and today I'm answering the question, am I being unrealistic? Am I being unrealistic? So this is a question I get again and again from clients, and I hear it from people beyond my immediate sphere. Oh my goodness, I'm just being naive, this will never work. Who am I to think that, you know, am I being too demanding to want to have it all, to have both money and flexibility or fulfilling work that also pays the bills um you know is it unrealistic to think that I could become a successful speaker or an author or live by the sea or whatever it is right Um, am I being unrealistic so this is the question we're answering today and it might seem odd because it's such a general question of course it depends on what your specific goal is as to whether the answer is yes or no The other thing is that I can't actually answer that question, right? Because it completely depends on so many things. Your current situation, the amount of dedicated effort you're willing to put in, uh, your, your health, your time, your commitment, your family support and so on, right? So... I could, of course, never guarantee an outcome in in my program. I can't tell you, yes, this will work. Another piece that I always tell people is it doesn't matter how successful I am or someone else is. Yes, by all means, be inspired by someone else. But you have no idea what it took to get there. You have no idea if it's going to work for you. The fact that it worked for me in a particular way 10 years ago doesn't mean it'll work exactly like that today for you. Um, In particular, the big sort of gurus in business coaching and all this in this space generally worked as as ever, you know, for many years behind the scenes, but also they started a long time ago when, when the digital marketing landscape was very different, for example. More generally, however, the answer to the question, am I being unrealistic? Here's my answer. I believe you can be pretty much as unrealistic or rather idealistic and optimistic as you want in the long term. Big picture, big vision, dream big, right? That will inspire you. It'll paint this really vivid picture of where you want to get to. And importantly, and absolutely practically, (laughs) what seems impossible to do today or tomorrow can be perfectly reasonable if you extend the time frame, right? Something that seems impossible to do by next week to earn 100k, to um, be a TED speaker, it's unlikely by next week, to publish a book, to have X number of followers, to speak on this stage, to travel to that place, whatever, is maybe not possible today or tomorrow. Maybe it is, by the way, in case, in which case maybe you're not dreaming big enough. But generally, I probably can't do it today, tomorrow, next week, next month, maybe not even in this next year. And yet, if I suddenly, or rather not suddenly, gradually extend that time frame to three years, five years, 10 years, or a lifetime, doesn't that become possible? Now, it makes it harder in a way to be inspired because it's so far off. And of course, you then need to break that big dream into smaller steps. But what's exciting is that something that seems really far off can then become absolutely possible. So the answer is if you're talking generally about goals, about your vision, about what you really want, then absolutely be idealistic, be optimistic. Optimism, as Helen Keller said, is so important for resilience, for success. You have to believe it's possible. Now, of course, there's a survivor's bias that the successful people in the world will say, oh, I believed in it and I didn't give up and so on. And I'm sure there are, you know, 90% of the other people who also believed in it and didn't give up, unfortunately, didn't make it. But there are so many other factors at work there, right? So you absolutely have to have that ingredient of believing it's possible and certainly of having articulated the dream, knowing what that bigger picture vision is. Because if you don't know what you want, how on earth are you ever going to get there? 
So yes, be idealistic in the long term. You are not being unrealistic if we're talking about a big picture time frame of several years, right? I can help you get there. Someone else can help you. You might even be able to get there on your own. Most likely if you get the right resources, you put in the effort um, and you're patient and, and so on, right? However, if you're talking a shorter time frame, then the answer is maybe you are being unrealistic and definitely you need to consider being more pragmatic in the short term. Because look, you can't get rid of pre-existing commitments right away, right? You can't create a three-day working week just like that with a snap of your fingers. Um, you can't start setting boundaries arbitrarily without giving people warning, you know, it takes some time to withdraw from things that you no longer want to be engaged with to perhaps, uh, you know, increase your savings, cut down on expenses, work on building an audience, craft your messaging, whatever it is, draft the book you want to publish, right? Um, so there are things that take time to do and you can't get the result right away. So do what you have to do in the short term. I think it was Oprah who said something like, do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do, right? Do what you have to do in the short term so that you can still keep your head floating, whatever that looks like, whether it's financially or in terms of commitments, family and so on. But, and this is a big but, make sure that you're still keeping an eye on the prize, right? Still got half, a, half an eye on that big picture vision. You have to keep taking however small steps towards the bigger goal. This is the balance we're always negotiating in the business accelerator where people have already a business. We're trying to focus on the big picture legacy of where we want the business to be, um, being more of a thought leader, growing the impact, writing books, podcasts, and so on that are longer term creating new programs while making sure that we're still bringing in the income in the short term, right? I had a um, conversation with Kyle just the other day where we talked about the belief in that this is absolutely possible for you. However, in the meantime, think of how can you create some creative solutions to get some cash injections, right? Um, I can uh, put out a, an extra post saying, hey, I'm taking your clients and so on. I can lean in, and we'll talk about this in a few weeks, I can lean in and take more action, if I need in the next few weeks, months, or if I'd like to rather increase my income, let's say, right, I can sort of front load the year, taking, having more marketing activities going on, having more sales events, having more conversations and so on. Um, but in the meantime, I will definitely make sure I'm still working on my book um, and, you know, and, and reflecting on the bigger picture and so on. So, Am I being unrealistic? Look, in the long term, probably not, because pretty much anything is possible. Now, there are some things I think are still impossible for me. I can't, I can no longer become an astronaut. I've gone a different route. <laughs> My childhood ambition of being an astronaut is probably not feasible physically, mentally, although actually if I had a lot of money, I could probably pay to go up now. So so maybe I'm being, I'm being um, uh, pessimistic there. Maybe it's totally possible for me to be an astronaut. Who knows? Let's, let's find out in a few years' time. Um, but still, I would posit, okay, let's take another example, professional ballerina. I can guarantee you that I can no longer be a professional ballerina. It wasn't really a meaningful goal to me, but let's face it, most little um, little children, little girls at one point dreamed of being a ballerina, and that's not possible, certainly now with my flexibility and, and age and so on, right? So yes, some things are impossible, but most of the things that we're talking about here if you dare to admit them to yourself, are not that crazy. And some of them you'd be surprised to think, actually, you could you could make them happen far more quickly than, than you thought. Um, so in the long term, absolutely, it's not unrealistic. Be idealistic, be as optimistic and positive and, and rose-tinted glasses as you possibly can. In the short term, however, if you think this is going to work, you know, again and again we get disappointed that things take longer than we thought they did, whether it's writing a book or creating a program or setting the program or running a webinar like the first time you'll just get a few people and it just you know even when you get the media presence suddenly you get a publication you get a story published oh my goodness game changer I'm going to be rich and famous and then nothing really happens it's the key accumulation of things it's the cumulative advantage there's a book called Cumulative Advantage, which talks about this. It's the little actions you're taking over time that build up that snowball of momentum, right? So in the short term, be pragmatic. Now, importantly here, um, it's it's about not succumbing to the black and white thinking. And if you're interested in this, if you go back to episode 160, I did a whole episode on this, the black and white thinking. But I think the tendency is, 
oh, this is not working. So I'll go straight, you know, let the pendulum swing all the way to the other end of the spectrum. So my fledgling business is not going so well. So I'm going to stop the business and go all in and apply for jobs rather than let me take on some clients who aren't ideal right now, but actually that will keep the, the money coming in while I work on the bigger picture business, right? So being pragmatic in the short term, finding ways to get whatever it is you need. And it might be money, it might be rest, <laughs> it might be focusing on your family. Um, you know, right now might not be the moment when you can get super ambitious and crazy about your goals from a work perspective. Um, and we can talk about having it all and a, and a fellow mother coach and I talk about this, that you can have it all, but perhaps not at the same time. And so this whole idea of balance is balance over a bigger time frame than just every day. Every day is not going to be perfectly balanced. Some days I have a really productive, effective work day, things are going really well, and maybe I don't feel like the motherhood piece because I haven't been present with the kids or I've been annoyed at the kids after a long day. Um, you know, they've been at nursery all day, I haven't really seen them. So the the balance is sort of weighing in favour of the work piece. Other days I've got the kids at home, I don't get any work done which I shouldn't be trying to do. There's no point to when I've got the kids and maybe we've had a wonderful day out together and beautiful family moments, but I haven't progressed on my goals, right? And that's very simplistic thinking. It's just either I'm a mother or I'm in my business. Of course, there are many more nuances to this, but there will be ups and downs. The pendulum will swing, will be adjusting and shifting and so on. And that's absolutely fine. And that's part of the ongoing harmonization, finding those synergies between the two. Um, but again, it's not thinking that oh, well, if I can't do this crazy full-on goal over here, then I've got to accept that I'm stuck here forever. Or, well, either I build this incredible dream perfect thing and live by... I always take my own examples, but I'd live by the sea now, so I'm living my dream. <laughs> live by the sea, I'm best-selling author, and so on. It's so far off and unrealistic. Or I stay in this job with this business where I'm, I'm at... Uh, I'm unhappy, I'm bored, I'm burnt out, you know, one end of the spectrum or the other. And we we just succumb to that black and white thinking that it's either I stay here stuck and unhappy or I do this crazy thing at the other end of the spectrum and, and it's not possible to have all the many nuances and steps that actually exist between the two. And the real work happens when we dust off that massive dream, take it off the shelf dust it off, have a look at it, examine it in more detail, break it into its constituent parts, build up a newer, more meaningful version of that goal and start working towards that goal. I've talked about often this idea of the best-selling author that, okay, look, do we want to be Stephen King and have the New York Times bestseller list books and so on? Is that really the meaningful driver? Maybe. Um, but really it's about writing because we love writing. It's about having the feel of a book in your hand because you've produced something incredible. It's knowing that people are reading and getting value from what you're writing, right? There are many um, more metrics of success to writing. And yes, perhaps earning some money, but the money from the books, you know, my books don't sell a huge amount, but they then feed into my coaching programs. And if I wrote, let's say, 10 books, that would add up to a nice tidy little income as well. It, it's less sexy than the big, audacious, crazy goal that seems so shiny and perfect. But breaking it down to smaller parts, taking small steps is really, really powerful. And again, being pragmatic in the short term. So one more time, everybody say it with me. Idealism in the long term, pragmatism in the short term. So no, you're not being unrealistic if you're imagining this different life for yourself or specific kind of business or you have some vision however specific or general for the future if the horizon if the time horizon is long enough however if you're super impatient and think it's going to happen right away then I'd really urge you to be more pragmatic to maybe I don't want to say lower your ambitions but certainly start smaller except that it will take longer than you think work towards that goal and by the way there's there are I often talk about there are two ways to get closer to your goal right the first is to take little steps in the direction of your goal so if you've painted that beautiful vision of your life start working towards that vision while you pragmatically live your current life then the second way of of actually achieving that goal is to bring elements of that life into your day-to-day -day. and one of the exercises I do with clients is your ideal day exercise you paint this vivid picture of what you want your day to look like and again and again I get clients saying you know what actually either a that's not far off from my current day or b I can see how I can bring elements of that into my day already, right? So 
again, take steps towards the goal, but also look at how you can bring elements of that. If you want to be a best-selling author, well, start writing, baby, because that's going to get you closer to that goal, but it also brings an element of that being a writer life into your life today, right? I'd love to hear what your audacious goals are. I'd love to hear what that big dream is and, of course, help you out in finding a pragmatic way to get there over time. So do let me know. You can message me on your favourite social platform. You can email me at podcast at onestepoutside.com and, of course, you can book a call as well if you do want to chat about how I can support you. So that's onestepoutside.com forward slash call. But I hope that episode was inspiring and helpful to you. I will see you back here next week for an interview, I believe. And yeah, we're nearing the end of the year. So we'll be having some planning, some envisioning for 2023, a few workshops coming up. So do keep an eye out on um, the different social channels. Get in touch if you are thinking of working with me in the coming year as the spots are filling up. And I will see you next week. Bye for now. Are you at that point where you're asking yourself, is this really what I want to be doing for the rest of my life? And the answer is a resounding no, but you're not yet sure what you want to do instead. I get it. I was in your shoes back in 2013 when I took a good hard look at myself and my CV. And up until then, I'd followed the conventional path. Good school, good university, good job. I was also single while more and more friends around me were settling down with partners and babies. Now fast forward to today and I've built a coaching and consulting business. I've published two books with more on the way. I've launched a podcast, but more than that, I've been able to travel the world. I've made more time for friends and family and I've designed and shaped a location and business and a lifestyle that's 100% tailored to my own personal definition of success. Oh, and I've also moved countries, I've fallen in love, and I've had two beautiful little children. So if you want to redefine what success looks like for you, then get in touch to book a call, onestepoutside.com forward slash call, onestepoutside.com forward slash call, and I'd like to help you do just that.